Okay, this is a quick review, about 15 minutes, so bear with me, um, of the 99 Neo. These have been out for a while. This is like a Necro review. They've been like the Z7 that I just did. This is behind. Um, before I get into it, because there's a relation to why I'm on a tour that I, I don't do tours anymore, but I'm on this one because the person that had this one before me, not this one, but the one that disappeared, his wife got sick, is what he said, um, and he disappeared. And with him disappeared this set that this is a replacement of. And uh, he either stole them or his wife got sick and life got complicated and moving and sending these to somebody on an audio tour became like number 1,000 on his top things to do. And I totally get it. And I thought about it today, and I'm doing the review now, because one of the members of HeadFi, um, who everybody seems to know, Modog, with big black dude, um, that's really good at ping pong, so it's, that I can gather. I've exchanged a couple private messages with him um, from time to time. Um, and we've listened to some common gear and have similar opinions. Um, seems like all around nice guy. And he had an event now where he had headaches, went to the hospital. They said he had blood on his brain, um, possible aneurysm or like that. Goes to Germany um, and they confirm it and it's bigger than what they said in, in, in the previous place he had been. Um, and now there's a uh, GoFundMe thing going on for him. I just sent him some gold and hoping that everything turns out well. Um, this stuff that we do and th th this is this is plastic wood wires whatever who gives a shit um and i remembered because after i was you know on the net with that and i'm looking at these and i'm thinking man th these things got their own story behind them because somebody's life maybe got changed and while that happened these tour units were with him and uh, did did the guy steal them or did did someone pass away, uh, and 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 uh, this became not? I I hope I hope he stole him. I hope I hope nobody got sick and passed away, and 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 you know the tour got bumped back because of life hit him. I I hope he stole him. That would be much sweeter than uh, something happened to somebody in his family that he loves because health, you know, um, you don't appreciate it until you don't have it. I know that personally. Um, a lot of people that see this video know that too. If you're if you got two eyes and you breathe in and everything's okay and you don't have something going down, you know, say a little prayer to whatever God you believe in, or or or, or knock on wood because it 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 goes away that fast. Um, I'm gonna link to to Mo Dog under this video. The Mies 99 Neo are a set that are. Uh, uh, a second release of an identical design that was the wood ones, which were classics, which I have had, um, gave them to my girl who gave them to her sister, who gave them to her then boyfriend, now husband, who is a train geek. Um, I'm three minutes in. I haven't talked about this yet. And uh, I never really heard them. I heard them a little bit, but I the, the, the visual of them, just no way would I wear them. So, I just passed him off, and he likes him, apparently. So, that's cool. This is the box. There's nothing in it. It's got a graph on the side that's going to jump out at you, jumped out at me. Let's get a focus right there. It's saying that it goes pretty much flat or consistent all the way to about, looks like about 4K, according to this. I mean, look at that right there. That does not look like any emphasis in the base at all. That, I can assure you, is not the case. These have a pronounced, without any EQ, bass boost. This is the case they come in. Um, you've seen it before. I don't imagine that people watching this channel, this is, they've never seen this before. Um, in the inside, you've got... I've seen another review, and they had two... God's sakes... They had two cables inside. One was this one, and one was what looked like a balance cable. This this one didn't come with 
such a cable like that. Um, this is just a single with a control. Take it out. It's a nice cable as cables go. It's got like a fabric. Um, All right, whatever. It's got a fabric lining to it. Um, this terminates like a, a set that is designed to be used with a smart device would terminate. Um, it's got the inline controls. Cable's fine. Nothing wrong with it. It turns to rubber coating uh, when you get past the, the cinch. And uh, then you've got your inline controls up near your left or right side. I'm not going to plug these in. When I first put these on, the first thing that jumped out at me was the base because I was not expecting it. I did not, I really try not to read or I didn't even know how to pronounce, like I said, you guys, uh, Odyssey. I, I called them Audis for just ever. I called Fio, I'm, 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 I called Fio Fio and still do because I don't watch other people's videos, so I don't know how, what people are saying. I don't care because other people's opinions about audio if i want to see it i might do check something out but i don't care about other people's opinions of, of i I, mean, I live in japan i can hear whatever i want uh and a lot of people are just spectacularly full of shit so not interested so i don't is are they called mes meze mezi i don't even know um let's go through the three fundamentals the bass the mids and the treble the bass is pronounced. It sounds like it's elevated maybe 3 uh, dB, around 40 to 75 hertz, maybe peaking around 55, 60. That is not the frequency response that they've got on the box. It's like they put the wrong headphones in the box. It's And it annoys me slightly because if I were not a lover of bass and I bought these thinking that this was something that was basically studio tuned, I would not be pleased. Because if I wanted to listen to, uh, let's say, the AP200, or I wanted to listen to um, an Opus, or I wanted to listen to uh, an XZ, second gen, all of these devices, uh, a Shosey, uh, others, if I wanted to listen to these devices to get their sound, because they, they don't sound the same. They've got different sound. I don't care what the DAC is. They sound different. Why? I don't know. The way that the amp stage is combined with the the uh, the converter, the, the digital to analog, I don't know. But they sound different. When I If I were to use a set like this, because it said on the side of the box that this is, you know, really reference studio tuned, I would be pissed off because if I listen to the showsy, but that's a warm thing that's going to be a lot of bass. If I listen to um, the Opus, I'm going to think it's a little bit warmer than it really is, although it is smooth, because this is putting its influence on. Now, people have measured this since, and I guess they can see that it's got a bass hum. I've not seen any graphs of it. I could tell you right now, this is not ruler flat from 20 to 120 hertz. There's, there's no way. Did anybody say that? There's no way. So there's the bass that's elevated. The mids, they sound really good, actually. I like the mids on this. Um, the elevated bass does not appear to be um, negatively influencing the performance and delivery of the mid-frequency range. That sounded like a nice sentence. Um, treble is good. It's not It's not peaky. Uh, it, if anything, I again... I, I don't trust that graph, and I haven't seen any others. It might be a little bit rolled off compared to some other stuff. It's certainly not like uh, EX-1000 or um, some um, ultrasound, you know, peaky trouble, which I can't stand, but some of the stuff I've got are claimed to have peaky trouble, but don't. These definitely don't have peaky trouble. They might be a little bit rolled off, to be honest with you. Um they don't, there's not that this doesn't jump out at me. The detail seems to reside in the mids, the later mids, early trouble, but nothing up around 10 or 9K, like that sparkly stuff doesn't seem to be coming out at me. So the strong point of these would be the mids, which is good because that's where stuff gets really destroyed. If you've got a V, that means that the bottom of the V is where your mids are, which means they're scooped. 
Um, and if you've got something that's mid forward, everything's going to sound like a mess. So the mids on these sound fine. Uh, build quality. We, I mean, you're looking at it. If something breaks, it can be replaced with a replacement part. That's it's like a modular design. Um, personally, I would take something like uh, the the digital design. This is made by a car audio company, and that's got the ports for bass. Um, and yet, these don't have as much bass as these do. This is made by a subwoofer company. Um, I can put a uh, IDSD micro with a turbo and uh, four watts and pound this thing and it won't distort. Um, but generally, out of the box, it sounds like that graph. It sounds like there's nothing ev elevated in the bass all the way to the early treble uh, or late mids. This sounds like what that graph says. This doesn't sound like that. I like this because if I want to listen to one of my daps, I'm going to hear the dap and I'm not going to hear the headphones so much. If I listen to those daps with this, they're all going to sound similar because this is enforcing its sound on it. So I guess for people who don't use EQ and are not consumed with the, you know, the, the, the replay sonics of, of, a, of a dap and I guess if they're not listening to lots of different daps it doesn't matter if they can get over the design which I guess is appealing to some to me it's not at all um, it, headphones is a niche and this is like a niche in a niche and a very small one at that um, I heard that these are popular the company seems to be outstanding with their replying and all that they, they're not pushy about you know sending stuff off i've had these longer than i think i should have uh, i got no mail from them um so they're not i got there's nothing wrong with them just don't like them um i don't like the design and i don't like the base at such a level that it influences my hearing and judgment on a dap or any device I, i'll do that myself um, I want something, if I buy something because it's kind of bassy, I want it because it's said it that it's kind of bassy. And so I get it and I know it's kind of bassy and my work might be a little bit of, you know, trying to get some sparkle up there at the top if that's what I can do, which is hard to do. Let me tell you something. I'm at 12 minutes in. I'm going to cut this in around 15 if I can. If I have no bass, my ability to make bass through sheer force of power and EQ is is I can do it. I do it. I've done it a lot. Taking something that has elevated bass out of the box and taming that bass to not have a veil in the mids is something that's much harder to do and I've had mixed results doing that. So if I would, uh, would I prefer something that had, you know, flat bass like it's said or this, I'd, I'd prefer to have flat because I, I can I can build the bass. On the opposite side would be the treble. If something is rolled off on a graph, I can't build treble. I can't I can't put treble because I would have to sweep and find out the peaks and and, and treble is very funny. Well, you know, depending on the acoustics of the chamber and everything else, that would be a ton of work to get treble to sound right on a set that's rolled off. So, and the opposite is true for bass. I prefer ruler. Building that is easy because it's really going to be maybe two points that I'm going to raise up and see how high I can get that before it starts to affect the mids. Trying to raise treble, that's a, God, that's, a, that's unless you're shelving it, which I prefer not to do because I, I like a little more control of that. You can shelf the, the bass. I don't think you can shelf the treble so much. Um, these, would, these would require uh, maybe a little toning down of the bass, and I, I, that's, I get mixed results with that, so no. And, and these didn't say on the box that they're bass enhanced, bass anything. These are I'm giving the implication that these are neutral cans. They are not neutral cans. That's not cool with me. Um, who gives a shit? I don't know. They don't, I'm sure. Do you? Probably not. Do I give a shit that you don't give a shit? I don't give a shit. Um, so if you like the design, if you like something with you know 3 dB bass elevated... Mm, not sparkly treble doesn't sound rolled off i guess it would be uh inoffensive mids sound good um and the company is rumored to be quite responsive i don't communicate with them often um but they they seem to be well regarded 
This was a crowdfunded thing uh, initially, and they delivered on their promises. So i uh, got to give them thumbs up to that. That's the Mies Neo. I don't wreck them. Um, change the graph on the side of the box. Let people know that they're going to get something that's got some base on it because if they're going to use it to evaluate and judge stuff, they're not going to be happy because it's got a warm tilt clearly out of the box uh, and that that's not what they advertise it as being. That, that's my problem. Um, and uh, bottom of this review, underneath it in the description is going to be a link to Mo Dog's um, GoFundMe. I think that's the name of it. And, uh, you know, well wishes to him. Health over everything else. We all know that. Got to say it out loud sometimes. Just thinking it's not enough. Got to say it out loud. Health over everything. And thanks to me's. Meze, whatever the name is.